Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a video tag by 3 girls 1 bag and for a long time I've stopped doing video tags because I, I don't own many tarot decks and oracle decks I only have a few so I'm, I was afraid that you know people would get very bored seeing the same decks appearing over and over on my channel but all the questions being asked on this tag they are Things I can answer, I thought it would be a good tag to try out after a very long hiatus. Hope you enjoy. First question asked was, what is your regular tarot routine? I don't really have a tarot routine per se because I have more private practices that I do daily. Divination is not really on top of my list these days. However, I there's one thing that I will do regularly, so that is the having a year ahead reading for the year. So why I continue to do this, why I insist on doing this is because I would like to... I guess the good the thing is we are all afraid, right? So I tend to read for the year ahead so I can prepare for more things or to get myself ready for the changes that will come. I saw that there was some sharing of tarot journals and I would like to say that I don't really own a tarot journal. I don't really journal about my readings. That's because when I ask a question, I what I want to do at that point in time is to make a choice and if I make a choice I tend not to I tend not to look back but of course know that maybe this is not always the best way to deal with problems and especially with tarot reading where you want to look look back at, on how you interpret and what is a better interpretation of uh, what was appearing like i say i do year ahead readings so year ahead readings they are very long and i keep them on a online spreadsheet uh, online word document so that i can refer to it and I'll keep it for maybe one year. So that's about it for my tarot practice. How do I shuffle? I will shuffle depending on how the card back look, looks like. If you see the 12th deck here, it is a non-reversible card back. So I won't read reversals with this deck. What would I do? I often start the reading by tapping on the deck. So I tap this way and from the tapping onwards, I will start to think about the question and I will shuffle like this. I'm a very basic shuffler. So as I shuffle for non-reversible um, for non-reversible cutbacks, I will think about the question and I will shuffle until I finish thinking about the question and how I would like the question to be answered. So once this is done, I will split the cut into three and I'll put it back together again. Then I will spread it out and choose three cuts. For reversible cut bags, I will read reversals with it. So the same thing again, I will tap and start to ask a question and I will shuffle like this. I don't take cuts that fly out. So once I finish uh, shuffling, I will do this mahjong style of shuffling. And then I will put them back together. So so of course the same thing again, I will I will think of the question as I shuffle and think about how I would like the question to be answered. So once this is done, I will cut it into three, put it back, spread, and choose the cuts. I will not wait for questions that, you know, I felt that I have already answered in prior reading. So, it's basically, if the person is asking the same question over and over again, I will decline them. Because what I feel is I already gave enough information on my part as a tarot reader. The second thing I can think of where I decline is when 
if my decision will cause the way I read it will cause problems for both parties. I only have a spread that I use I always use which is the which is the three card spread. Uh, for three card spread I give a position to each depending on the kind of questions asked. So it's not the the usual like past, present, future. So I will give the usual way I read is probably like the theme of the problem, the obstacle and the advice. Or even a general um storyline reading of the cards. I did learn about other traditional spreads such as the Celtic Cross as well, but it hasn't gelled with me. Although I have started to look see the beauty in the positions and what the kind of reading it can use for me. And maybe once in a while I will use it as well. So for the year ahead, it will be a cut per month. Do I use multiple decks in my reading? No, because when I tarot, I want to clear the junk in my head. So if I use more decks, to me that means a bit, that means a lot more complicated stuff being added into the picture. However, there are cases there were cases where I have to use more than one deck. Usually, this is because I'm trying to learn about a deck I've just acquired and. Although that's not really common, the Stella's Tarot really threw me into a funk. I, I had a difficult time trying to understand the deck and I, need, I needed to use another deck to make the meaning clearer for me.